Hello everybody! Uh, I'm in a really squeaky chair, so I apologize in advance. Oh, hello Finny. Come here. Come here. You wanna come say hi? Okay, come here. Come here. Oh! Hello everybody! Finley and I here. It's been a while. Finny, look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> so it's been a while since you guys have seen our faces. If you're not following either of us on Instagram. Oh, my baby. I love you. He's like, what's going on, Mom? Why is that camera stuck in my face? Oh, that was such a fake yawn. Anyways, hi. Oh, your breath stinks, though. Hi, guys. So it's been a while. It's actually been a few months since you have seen a video on this Mel channel. Oh, gosh. Okay. Are you done? I love you. Okay. There we go, good boy. So, sorry, a oh, little detour of the video. Anywho, so it's been a while since I've actually uploaded a video on this channel. I apologize, welcome to the new subscribers. If um, I haven't introduced myself to you all, thank you for being a part of the Mel channel. The PTU crew, also known as the Positive Thinkers United crew. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and I know I keep getting a lot of um, comments just saying, oh, I'm so sorry, this chair, I need to get a better chair. Um, so I get comments here and there saying like, where have you been? What's going on? We miss you and I miss you too. Uh, there's been a lot of things going on and it's really weird seeing a camera pointing at me and talking to it again because it's been probably, what, three months? Oh, he's got his leg, his head on my leg. Come here. Okay. All right, there we go. So anyway, so it's been about three or four months since I've uploaded a video and I kind of, what I've been saying, I've been taking a creative break. Um, and essentially that means I'm just really trying to figure out where I want to take this channel. Um, what direction I want to take it. What kind of videos do I want to upload? What kind of content? I really want to uh, spend some time providing quality content and things that I'm going to look back on in 10 years and say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did that video. Um, there's obviously videos that I've uploaded that I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I do that video? So uh, that's kind of where I want to take this new direction. But what I think that I'm going to do for this video is just kind of say, I just wanted to kind of say hello and uh, give you kind of a little rundown of what's been going on the last few months. Hold oh, please, I'm going to get a new chair. Okay, this is better. Woo! Gosh, all right, much better, hi, hi, hi. Okay, so I just wanted to give kind of a little bit of a rundown of what's been going on. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be playing with my hair. I just got it recut in a new way and I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, and give you a rundown and show you some pictures and some videos of what's been going on. If you follow me on Instagram, at Melissa Trippy. If you follow Captain Finley, he's at Cap, C-A-P-T-F-I-N-L-E-Y. Um, you'll probably have already seen these videos or Insta stories. But I wanted to say hi to my YouTube family and give you kind of a little bit of a like a, hey there, how you doing? This is what's been going on in my life. So I have finally completed-ish my room, office, workout room. You'll see like weights over here. I've got my sliders and my resistance bands and then my infinity massage chair. This has been a savior and I'll explain to you that in a minute. And then I've got my food time, my kindness matters, and I've got my little O right light ring. It's probably making me really white light. I don't know. But yeah, so my uh, office slash workout room has kind of been completed and that's really exciting to me. First off, I've had some really cool events that I've done the last few months. One of those was being a social media influencer at the Valspark Golf Tournament. Never really been into golf, but I was inv invited um, to attend and just kind of give a little bit of a rundown of what the Valspar is at Innisbrook, Salamander Innisbrook Resort. It was really cool. I got to see Tiger Woods. I got to see Rory McElroy. I got to see the guy that won the Masters. What was his name? I don't even know his name now. I do know his name, but I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, and then we got to meet Rondé Barber, picture here.
Meg actually went with me. She was my little, she was my plus one, which was awesome. So we had so much fun. We got to see tiny homes, got to meet the creators of, the, or not the creators, but the builders of these particular tiny homes and got to watch some golf and learn a little bit more. And um, it's funny because that event kind of spiraled into something else that I want to do within this channel. Oh, sorry. I'm looking down because I actually wrote everything down that I want to talk to you about. And also I believe that Angela got me this um, little folder. It says she believes she could and so she did. And then it says PTU crew. So thank you, Angela. But I keep looking down because I wrote down things that I want to talk to you guys about. So I don't forget because I'm kind of spacey sometimes. Um, and I'm a little bit of a planner. It's a good trait and a bad trait. Anywho, Valspar, it was awesome. In addition to Valspar, I got to be the social media influencer for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Go Bolts! We made it all the way to the Eastern Conference Championship, but ended up losing to Washington Nels, who are now in um, the Stanley Cup against the Vegas Knights. Um, so it's actually a really cool series and I'm kind of torn as to who I want because the Vegas Knights is kind of that Cinderella story. It's their first season, you know, they're the expansion league, blah, 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 blah. But then there's the Washington Capitals who are in our same division. So it's like, do you root for them? Do you root for that? I don't know. Do I want to root for the Capitals because they beat the Bolts? I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Back to my Bolts. I got to be the social media captain. We even got to go down into the locker room. I got to knuckle bun, knuckle punch, knuckle fist bump, fist bump is the correct terminology, with Hedman and um, uh, Vasilevsky and Stamkos wasn't there. He was actually at the one when Charlie was the social media captain, so I got to fist bump him then. But um, I just love hockey. I love the lightning. I loved everything about it. I got a jersey. We got to sit in the little area of where the social media captain gets to sit. They put me on their Instagram story. It was really cool. So thank you, Tampa Bay Lightning, for inviting me to be a part of your night. I think we played the Boston Bruins that night, and it was just so much fun. I just, I just love hockey. It's just amazing. Um, what else happened? Oh, oh, this has kind of been cool. I actually started a new fitness regimen. It's with Beachbody On Demand. I'm sure you guys have heard of Insanity or P90X, but I started the program 80 Day Obsession. Just finished day 56. I haven't, I've missed technically three days. However, I've also done double workouts and worked out on Sundays. So I technically don't think that I've really missed a day. Um, but it's been amazing and it's been what, bud? It's been a great routine for me. I really love the workouts. Uh, the nutrition plan and I are we're fighting. We're not getting along so well. I am really terrible when it comes to um, come on. I'm really terrible when it comes to nutrition and meal planning and meal prepping. But I want to get better. I at least now know the tools of what I should be doing before a workout, after a workout, and. Um, I've been eating better, I've been eating cleaner, um, less frequent and less so less snacking and I feel better. I feel strong, um, I feel lighter, which is good. I feel like I'm actually like toning, which is nice. You know how I'm knocked up where he's like just, or she's like just dying. That's kind of how I feel like I'm just starting to like, I don't think I'll ever lose my curves, which is okay. I like my curves, but um, I would like to, Anywho, <laughs> so with the 80 day obsession, I've really enjoyed it. It has kind of like kept me in a routine and it's funny because this thing I know I talked to you guys about earlier and in the last video has been my just like savior because within the program she encourages self care, which is essentially going and getting a massage, uh, foam rolling or something along those lines to kind of work out those muscles because you're working them very hard. I can't even tell you how many times I've used this chair and it has saved me for the workouts. It um, There's one program called the extension program and it's my favorite. So essentially it just like extends your body and you're just like, uh, it feels so good. Um, so that little, little guy has been uh, essential in my little workout routines. What else is going on? Um, I... Uh, 
I went to Charleston. I, I love that city. There's something really special about that city to me. And um, I got to see the angel oak. If you guys have ever heard of the angel oak, it's actually the largest living oak tree. And it's breathtaking. Everything about this tree is just gorgeous. And there were people there just like spending time. They were people having picnics and just hanging out. And it was just, it was beautiful. There were magnolia trees lined all through Charleston. Spent some time out on Folly Beach again. There's something really special about Charleston to me. And um, yeah, it was really nice. Oh, cool thing. So as you know, I was a DeSoto queen a few years ago, like 13 years ago. And one of the cool things about being the DeSoto queen is I was the essentially the ambassador of Bradenton. I got to go to Baccarota, Spain. In turn, um, an ambassador of Baccarota, Spain got to come to Bradenton. And the year that I was queen, our ambassador, his name was Franchu, Fran. And I haven't seen him since we were, I was queen. So that was, two, that was 2005, a long time ago. But we've always remained friends on social media, which was nice. So he actually messaged me on Facebook saying he was actually coming to the festival this year, which I was really excited about. Uh, so we got to reconnect at the ball and one of the coolest, coolest things happened. So Franchu is from Baccarat, Spain. So he was telling me a story that he went and visited a friend in another country and please forgive me because I don't remember the country that he went to, but he said he walked in on his roommate watching one of my videos. And it was crazy because then he looked at the guy and said, Melissa? Mirena? And the guy goes, you know Melissa? And I don't know, you know, whatever. Do you know Melissa? And he said, that was my queen. And so he had to tell me the story of how he, as a Spanish person, went to another country and they're sitting there watching my videos. And he's like, I had no idea you did YouTube videos. And of course, at that time, I didn't really do YouTube videos, so we wouldn't have had those conversations. Um, but it was just so crazy to me. And then he told me that sometimes he'll watch the videos with closed captioning below to learn English. So it's just mind blowing to me that there are so many of you that potentially watch my videos all around the country. And I guess I've always imagined it for my brother, like it's changed a lot of people's lives. And I think that's one of the most incredible things about YouTube, but I never correlated it with me. So that was amazing. And uh, thank you, Franchi, for telling me that story. It meant the world to me. Uh, so of course we took a picture, here he is. And um, I just I just think he's was just amazing. So that was a really cool story. Uh, the DeSoto Ball was beautiful, of course, as always. We welcomed two new royalty into the family. So um, awesome. What else happened? Oh, that weekend was Playlist Live. So it's always good going to Playlist Live. I went with uh, Char, I almost said Charles, that's weird. I went, I went with Charlie and Allie. And it's always wonderful seeing fellow social media influencers, I guess I'll call them influencers, um, and kind of getting re-inspired. So I met a lot of um, different vloggers and different um, people, content creators, I guess I'll call them, that do some really cool things on YouTube. It's, it's kind of funny because I have my career that I work all the time at, so when I get home from YouTube, or when I get home from work, I don't necessarily go on YouTube and watch these videos, but now I've been starting to because it's, there's some really cool things. By the way, the guy that does the eating challenges or the food challenges, and he ate like 15,000 calories in one day, I think his name's Matt, Matt. Amazing, crazy, gross, amazing. Um, what else? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going on a tangent. Um, I went to the Sunscreen Film Festival. That was really cool. I went with Agatha and Allie. We met some actors from the UK, some producers from the UK, from all around. Got to meet Rusty Schwimmer, who is um, a Hollywood actress. She was in the feature film that they were showing, which was really cool. We got to meet her and take a picture with her. Picture. 
and um, it was really cool being in that kind of a scene. It's not really like one that I am typically involved in, but um, I have to thank Amelia from Visit St. Petersburg for allowing us to go and giving us those passes. Um, what else? There's been so much going on, so I'm truly sorry that I haven't kept you guys in the loop, but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know a lot of this. Oh, one of the coolest things. So, long story short, Agatha and I were supposed to go on a mural tour uh, because in St. Petersburg, downtown, they have these different artists that come and paint on the buildings. So we were going to go do a bicycle mural tour, mural tour. So while she was at a networking event, she ended up meeting this girl, Caroline, who owns electric bicycles. It's called Pedago, and she has a location in Dunedin in St. Petersburg. So Agatha, being the networker she is, she's like, hey, we're going on a bicycle mural tour. We need bicycles. What about you lending us these electric bikes and we'll use them? And that's kind of promotion. So of course, that was Caroline was like, yes. Well, I've ended up becoming friends with Caroline, so now I have my own little pedago, and it's amazing. So if you guys are in the Tampa Bay area, you have to come and give it a try. You can actually buy a bike, but she also does rentals. So if you go in and say that um, you heard about it from me, she'll actually give you, if you buy an hour, she'll give you an hour for free. And they're so much fun. If you watch Ali and Char's video, actually we went on, I think I've said actually a few times, a lot. Uh, but if you watch Ali and Char's video, we uh, we went on the Pedagos yesterday. So you'll kind of see that little thing. They're fun. They're I mean they're a typical they're a regular bike, but they also have the electric pedal assist capabilities. I'm obsessed with this bike. It's not even funny. So um, if you guys are in town or you guys are close, please look up Pedago, follow them on social media. You won't be disappointed. The, the bikes are incredible. And uh, yeah. And you know what the coolest thing about it was? Is when we were on a bicycle, we were able to see a lot more of the city. So we were able to go kind of in the nooks and crannies of St. Petersburg and really like see things rather than when you're in a car, if you're driving, especially, you can't really look around and see what's going on around you. But on these bicycles, you can stop and look at these murals and see the like little hidden gems of your city. And that's, um, I really loved that. So we actually did that yesterday and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that often. That's gonna be one of my new things. I also discovered a new bar called the Dog Bar. Um, it's for Finley. Finley absolutely, absolutely loves it. He goes and makes friends and, plays with dogs and goes on the little like adventure courses and it's just fun. I get to go and watch my dog have a great time. He always needs a bath afterwards because he's disgusting and slobbery. But if he's happy, I'm happy. I've had baby showers going on and birthdays. We had Nerd Rock's birthday. We had Allie's birthday. Speaking of birthdays, my birthday is on Wednesday. I will be 32 years old. It's crazy. And it's crazy to think because I'm going to be 32 that like, this, and I don't want this to be taken wrong, but like if I were to have asked myself 10 years ago where I would see myself in 32 at 32, it would not be where I am. And um, I only say this because I know a lot of you are out there thinking you're not in the appropriate place or you're not getting to where you need to be and I just want you to know that you are where you're supposed to be and everything happens for a reason and although my life isn't marriage and kids and a big five bedroom house with three car garage or whatever white picket fence that's not my life right now but I'm okay with that. It's hard thinking like, oh my God, that's not where I thought I was ever gonna be, but I'm so happy and content with where my life is and excited. I'm really excited to see the future. So it's, 
I'm excited for this birthday, but I'm also like, oh my God, I'm gonna be 32, this is crazy. But uh, yeah, so my birthday is on Wednesday. Six, six, yay. So I guess next steps I can talk about. I am really excited because for Christmas, obviously almost six, uh, six months ago, I got a podcast kit. So I have been trying to think of podcast names, what kind of content I wanna create on a podcast, if I'm going to film as well as do it on um, a podcast forum, I want to kind of explore a lot of opportunities. But I haven't thought of a name, I was thinking, Trippin' with Trippy, or I don't know. So if you guys have suggestions of what I should name my podcast, please leave them below. I'm going to stop talking because I'm realizing that this video is a lot longer than I anticipated. So I am so sorry. If you have watched this whole thing, I love you and I appreciate you, but um, it's me. I get, this is what happens. We've already talked about this before where a camera gets in front of me and then I just keep talking and I can't stop. But um, okay, now I'm really gonna stop. So happy Sunday, y'all. I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Leave me some um, comments below of where you kind of think where this channel should go, the direction of the channel. Do you do you want to see a lifestyle like? I don't know. I'm not very good at makeup, but do you want me to see? You want to see makeup or fashion or music or I don't know. Maybe I'll start singing. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But let me know. I love you guys. Thank you for being on this journey always. And um, I'm sure by the next time you see me, I'm going to be a 32-year-old. So I'm excited. I love y'all. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Hearts, 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 hearts. Gotta go.